So as you guys are going to read the French and Indian War, you're going to see that Washington was kind of, George Washington, our first president, was an important player in this French and Indian War. So here it is. The French and Indian War. At Fort Duquesne, Washington's troops fought a brief battle with French soldiers. Washington retreated, expecting the French to attack again. He told his men to quickly build a fort, because the fort was necessary for protection. Washington named it Fort Necess Necessity. Find the fort on the map on page 91. We'll do that. Unfortunately, the fort was built too quickly. The finished product was not strong enough to hold off the French and their Indian allies. An ally is a person or country that joins with another for a common purpose. So, right here, what does ally mean? Right here, an ally is a person or country that joins with another person or country for a common interest. There it is. All right. Oop. Native Americans believed that they could hold on to their Ohio lands if they kept the British out. That is because the British wanted to settle on the land, forcing Native Americans out. The French were mainly interested in building trade in the Ohio country. Together, Native Americans and the French defeated Washington and his troops. The French and in the Indian War had begun. While the French and British fought in, the nor in, in North America, they also fought in Europe. The war there is remembered as the Seven Years' War. So, the French and Indian War was really between France and Britain. And that was in the United States of America, right? Right? The French and Indian War. All right. Just so you know. The British gained control. In 1758, the British once again led a force to Fort Duquesne. They had recently won a battle against the French on Lake Ontario. Since French defeat kept supplies from reaching Fort Duquesne, the French abandoned the fort and burned it to the ground. The British won control of the area without firing a shot. They built a new fort on the spot and called it Fort Pitt. Within a year, many other important French forts had fallen to the British, including Quebec and Canada. Quebec was the center of government for New France. When it fell, the French lost all hope for victory. So that's important, right? Well, this was a saddlebag. It was used by George Washington during the French and Indian War. Soldiers carried gunpowder and horns like this one with the engraved map of Fort Duquesne on it. Oh, look at that. Isn't that neat? That's how they got their gunpowder into their front loaders right there. All right. Moving right along.